the death toll from Typhoon Ursula has now reached 28. And for an update, we have uh, live on uh, our, we have live from Capiz, Jenny Dongon. Jenny. Ed Typhoon Ursula was not the most destructive typhoon that had hit Capiz, but having been on the path of Super Typhoon Yolanda in 2013, but for many, it was the most emotional devastating, coming as it did on Christmas Day. Junjun tried to salvage what he can from his house after Typhoon Ursula battered Western Visayas during Christmas Day. It was the second time they have been ravaged by a typhoon. The first time was during Super Typhoon Yolanda's onslaught in 2013. But Junjun is still thankful that their family weathered yet another storm. Salo-salo pa rin sa bagong taon. Kahit konting anda, importante sama-sama. Tatamang malalagpas sa masta sama-sama lang. Pagsubok lang. Ah, may just pa rin sa taas eh. Ah, kahit ganun pa rin. Kaya kaya pa naman na bahay lang naman yan eh. Importante pa rin buhay ng... Mga anak ko, pamilya ko. This citradinarian couple was lucky. They got trapped inside their house as Ursula unleashed strong winds and heavy rains. The two prayed and held each other's hands. Basta buhay, babakot pa kami nga doon. Tagal na tas yung kaboy, kaboy ni Lord nga malawig lang, maayo lang nga mong sitwasyon nga doon dia. According to NDRMC situation report, there are already a total of 28 casualties due to the typhoon. Two people were injured, while 12 are still missing. The local government estimates more than 6 million pesos in damage to agricultural crops. More than 160 flooded barangays in Capiz remain flooded. Authorities say it may take three days more before the floodwaters subside. At 70% of Capiz still does not have electricity. Um, authorities also started giving assistance to isolated barangays affected by flash flood. They are also still looking for two people that are still missing. Ed. Jenny Dawn reporting live from Capiz. Thank you, Jenny. Pope Francis on Thursday prayed for the Philippines after Typhoon Ursula struck the country over Christmas. The pontiff asked the faithful gathered in uh, St. Peter's Square in the Vatican for his weekly angelus to join him in a prayer for the Philippines. Prego per le numerose vittime, per i feriti e per le loro famiglie. As it stands, some parts of the Visayas are still reeling from the havoc of Typhoon Ursula. As of 6 a.m. this morning, the NDRRMC reports a total of 28 casualties across eastern and western Visayas. Two have been injured, 12 are missing, while 34 passengers are still stranded. A state of calamity has also been declared in the municipalities of San Jose, Occidental Mindoro, Dan Bantayan Cebu, Medellin Cebu, Capiz, and Leyte provinces. Meanwhile, due to the continued closure of Calibo Airport, the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines has diverted all Calibo flights to Boracay Airport. The damaged Boracay Airport continues to operate, even shouldering additional flights as Calibo Airport remains closed. The line of affected passengers, mostly bound for Boracay, reached outside the Cebu Pacific office yesterday. They are furious over the repeated cancellations of the flights. Airlines continue to attend to them, reminding them that they can reschedule or refund their tickets within 30 days. Gahol na ang oras namin, kaya dapat makarating kami doon ngayon, pero cancelled naman ang flight namin.